yeah if you're here to see the event see like this, this is pretty cool if you're here to see the event this is not the video for you this is this is the parking lot of the event yeah i'm lame like that um but i find it to be a, a little more relaxing too a little bit more peaceful um there's still quite a bit of cars here that are gonna be part of the show i am assuming i think they're waiting for their their friends still man look at what is this never seen this before looks like it's some type of nissan now it's a van but it doesn't have a door on this side whoa v6 oh the sliding doors on this side wow this is super cool man what, what kind of van is it Nissan homie? Yeah, homie. Yeah, that's, that's what's up, man. Nissan homie. Wow. See, this is exactly what I mean. You find these really cool cars. I think he's still signing up for the event. He should be because this is pretty freaking rad. Uh, but, um, yeah, man. Nissan homie. That's cool. Perfect day for a convertible. I'm glad it's not raining. Now, this is a quote right here. Brought my attention as soon as he pulled up. So let me see, let me go check it out as the beautiful RX-7 is approaching us. But um, I, I like this event because it's Japanese classic car show. Therefore, Hondas, uh, Nissan, Toyotas, everyone shows up. It's not just, you know, one model. Beautiful. Love, love the stands. Uh, Long champs, if I'm not mistaken, on the wheels. Uh, some of my favorite wheels. They look small, so I'm, I'm assuming 14s, 13s, but uh, yeah, that car looks very, very nice. Perfection. Perfection. Love, love the color. I thought about painting Jackie that same like greenish, olive green. These cars are on standby, then they're waiting for their buddies to roll up. SR swap. The 610. That was some type of Toyota, uh, Toyota but it's a 2610. Very, very beautiful. Look at that wagon. Wow. Super clean, man. Beautiful RX-7, the FC body, and the R33. Beautiful, very simple. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Motor Van Ami. So today we're gonna go to Long Beach, Japanese classic car shows today. One of the biggest events here in Southern California. Now, yes. We had a heat wave for an entire week and now it rained and so there was still a little bit of undecisiveness from people if they were going to show up or not. However, the show is actually rain or shine so I knew, I know that that's happening about 6, it's about 6.20, 6.30 and what I'm trying to do is I'm taking this camera, I don't know if you guys remember the Honda Super Meat, I did a video of just natural sounds, that's what I'll be doing and I always wanted to you know, do that but I, I never get there early enough and uh i'm also gonna do a walk around and this is what you're gonna be seeing so it's pretty humid it's a little bit um a little bit warm already and yeah we'll see how it goes but i'm excited should be a good time and um hopefully we get some cool coverage of cars rolling in so watch you guys there catching up with some of the cars that are going to the event Ten. 
Alrighty guys, we made it to Long Beach. Um, so I'm a little confused. This is the first time I've ever been this uh, here this early. So if I'm not mistaken, these cars are part of the show. They're gonna line them up here and then they're gonna go uh, across the street and the real staging is over there. Um, but I'm gonna ask one of the gentlemen here just to make sure. Beautiful. Beautiful coop. Wow, love it. A lot of beautiful cars. All right, so we hug, we hug this uh, little corner right here, getting the cars there from where we came from. They're getting us, uh, uh, I guess, separated over there in the parking lot, and then they're getting staged over here. Um, pretty cool turnout. A lot of clean cars, a lot of different makes and models, so it's pretty good. Um, I also, once the whole entire setup is done of this car's rolling in, then I'm probably gonna go back to the parking structure to get some more footage of other cars with the GoPro. Alrighty guys, just to give you guys a timeline, is 8.14 right now. So I think I'm gonna stick around here for maybe 20, 30 more minutes, and then I'm gonna do a walk around of the actual parking lot. Uh, if you guys remember, I did that a while back. Um, um, so I actually like to see the parking lot to see what's up there. Uh, we'll see. Sick wagon, man. Well, you turned that to It's dope. Hey, you know you to go? 370Z or 350, one of those two. I'm only off by two numbers. <laughs> if you're the owner, don't get mad. I don't know much about these cars. I don't know much about cars in general, but especially this cars. It's cool. Very clean. All right, seems that the weather continues to cooperate with us. Uh, felt a little bit of drizzling here and there, but nothing too major. Um, we'll continue walking the parking lot. Work wheels, three piece. Very clean, very, very clean. I don't get to see them stock. It's almost like a, like a stock AG or a stock EK. Very nice. I like the color on it. I don't, I don't know what kind of color this is. What is a, a forerunner? It's a, what do you call those? Completely blanking on the names on this one, but lifted. Looks nice. Nice. Super rad. Still got the L motor in there, manual. Very cool. It's a 280. Very nice. So I, uh, I tried getting into the car show in the morning to see if I could get some shots, uh, uh, you know, inside when they're actually parking. And um, the gentleman that was there, he's like, "Where's your bracelet?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't have one." He's like, "Did you uh, did you sign up?" I was like, "No, I didn't." So yeah, then you're pretty much screwed, man. Can't get in. And I was like, "Okay, no problem." <laughs> like, um, I'm like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it." You know, I'm just, I'm not trying to stay for the show. He's like, "No, I get it," but. You know how many people tell me that they're media because they're they're holding a camera and i was like you're right a thousand percent right no problem so i stood there and then i took some some videos uh and i moved to a place where i felt i had the better view um and now thinking about it if i would have been in there uh inside the actual venue it's very difficult to get cars rolling, and I don't know about you guys, but I personally like when the cars are rolling, as opposed to uh, to um, just park. Like even, you know, like this TL right here is pretty cool, but I got them rolling, and it just makes the car look super different, so. Ah. And so when I got the cars going in, I saw a lot of my buddies, and uh, I got to see uh, yeah, the new setups like Eric and his EGs were very, very nice. And then um, having hadn't seen uh, our buddy um, AZ, so he brought out his hatch. So that was pretty nice. And then ET didn't bring his EG, but I think he was driving uh, Ping's EG, which had a new wheel setup. So um, it's cool to see them rolling and to hear the cars. Um, so the, the funny part was that like 
the gentleman told me like yeah you're pretty much screwed man like i'm sorry you can't get in i was like i right, no problem man and then i take five steps and i see uh one of the volunteers is one of the gentlemen i interview he's like guys what's up man i'm like hey what's up he's like uh what, what, are you are you trying to go in or what i was like no i didn't register he's like oh, let me get you in right now and i was like no it's okay um i'm gonna try to get rolling of the actual cars coming in he's like oh okay no worries man just let me know when you need to go in and i was just like the the other gentleman is a thousand percent right if i didn't register I, I shouldn't get in you know it's one of those things now honestly i don't really like registering two things <laughs> Um, I don't even know if we had to pay for uh, media, if that's a thing. Um, I mean, even if I had to pay, I probably wouldn't have paid, to be honest with you guys. Um, but let's check out these awesome TSX. I saw them come in. I have a TSX park right next to them. That's only appropriate. So last year, no, no, oh, last year, shoot, it was like three years ago. Yeah, it's been a bit since we've been here. I came to find out that the parking lot itself is like its own car show um and what i mean specifically the inside parking structure like there's gonna be cars here park obviously as we're seeing cars roll up very beautiful they're just doing circles very nice but um inside the actual parking structure there's a whole bunch of people that just hang out there last time you know when i came by i came by a little bit later and um man you can just see everybody just putting their music and they were just eating and relaxing in the actual parking structure so it's almost like those people that use this time to come together but not necessarily go to the meet or the show it's pretty cool to see somehow i missed this awesome civic rear and front conversion then we've seen this gentleman at a couple of car meets. Very cool car. Love the stance on it. Very cool. Very, very cool. The clean S13 here. Wow, I really like the stance on it, how simplistic it is. Very nice. And Papa Headlights for Life, you guys know that. A Forester though, oh my goodness. Good job to the owner. Is it Suzuki? Samurai. Hmm. Suzuki Samurai. Mazdas. Uh, funny story, that was one of the cars I really wanted to buy. Uh, I still would want to buy a Mazda Miata. They're, they seem super fun. I like the idea of being a convertible and rear wheel drive, I guess. So, well, Tessa, fun fact I wouldn't mind living in one of those condos um, because then you could see the uh, events that go down here like um, drift event the other GT uh, events that come down here and just because it's a beautiful area very cool Genesis here really low Every time I see a Volvo or an Audi or something like that, I think of Scotto from the Hoonigans because he's like putting in the work for these type of cars. Very nice set of wheels. I really like it. Dual brake caliper in the rear. Wow, this is super rad. B big BBK. Very cool wheels. It's cool. I really like it. Very subtle. You wouldn't think of it, but got some power under it. And it's supposed to be luxurious, so... When you were Lexus rolling by, ah, it looks rad. It's really cool, actually. Wow. Uh, oh, air 
cool Porsche but something that you don't see every day very rare this gentleman's uh, they stop by and look at stock OEM EF we got Idaho right here and I think they're from Idaho as well let me see they're from Idaho as well and it looks like they packed and they came down here I don't know if that's true or not but super cool then we got Arizona plates as well super rad to see that I'm glad that they made it made it safe and hopefully they enjoy the the meat or the show I should say I keep saying meat I don't know why I don't know what the big difference between a meet and a show is aside from maybe a show is more organized and you pay but I guess you can call it a meet even if you are organized and you pay very very nice set of cars here and you start seeing like drift missiles you start seeing you know very clean cars you start seeing their dailies I would suppose you know They're like I don't want to take my, my project car in case it gets damaged or someone you know uh, hits the car because that's very unfortunate and as you want to enjoy the show, you don't want to be thinking, like, is my car okay, you know? Very cool. I love, love hard bodies. So cool, man, that boxiness. It's perfect. Let's make our way over here. Check out this beautiful Datsun. So as I was doing rollers for the, the actual show, um, you know, the rolling, it, it amazes me how some people just walk in front of the camera uh, without caring. Now, they don't have to move, I understand that. I'm in a public space, so it's not like a restricted area. Man, look at these white wheels. Um, but what I, f I found it interesting was like, the people that are there to admire the show is this real carbon fiber or was it wrapped because oh that's a really pretty cool piece to use as a bumper a uh, lightweight gives a nice very nice look and um yeah people just walk by and i'm like okay cool and there was a gentleman who me maybe you know he looked like he may uh be on un unhoused or homeless as some of you guys may know people uh, and he waited and he's like, oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to get into your shot. I was like, are you kidding me? I was like, no, no, go ahead. Thank you. It, it's so funny to me that some people don't, don't take the time to be considerate of others. That's why, uh, I'm just like, okay, it's not your fault. Like I, I gotta, I can't be. <laughs> I have to be patient because yes, uh, I am in a public space, but man, but this is what I like. See, there's nobody here. There's nobody to, you know, block the view of the beautiful cars. Love this color on this Z right here. Very iconic. Another great wheel and tire setup. And that's something I also like. Um, whether you like the wheel and tire setup is up to you uh the flender flare and all that stuff i know a lot of people love love like oem body i'm i'm either one to be honest with you i think where i would fall would be in the in the in the line of if the car is rusty and the fender flares or the quarter pound especially need you know a lot of work they'll probably go fender flares if the car beautiful the lease, wow. Beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, if the car is clean, like really clean, and doesn't need any modifications to the body, then I'm, I'm probably sticking with OEM. Um, but that's kind of my, my, I guess, my approach. Not saying that if you have a clean body and you cut it up, that doesn't mean that you're wrong. Of course not. Or it doesn't mean that if you uh, you got a car that had rust in the quarter pounds, instead of doing fender flares, you decided to go and fix it. That's great. More power to you. I feel like that's that's the beautiful thing about modifying a car that you can have a car and have so many different uh, ways to go about it. But I don't know. I think that's I like both. Um, I think that would be my my only approach how bad is the quarter panel and if it's really bad then let's go fender flares let's get a little closer look at some of the cars that rolled in earlier 
Wow. Cool setup. XXR wheels, if I'm not mistaken. Really like the offset on it. Nice EF hatch. Just rolling in. Looks super cool. Really, really nice. Nissan um, B13s, I think they're called. Them. That Sudo. I know them as Sudo. Beautiful. Very cool truck. Really like the setup on it. Very nice deep dish wheels. Good morning. Wow. Very cool truck. Wow, speaking of hard bodies, another one shows up. Ooh, super cool. So nice to see people bond over a, a car, you know? Look at that, look at that fit, man. What an amazing fit, man. Holy. I would love to interview uh, owners of these type of trucks. Super cool car. Wow. Love it. Check out this Altesa that uh, rolled by earlier. Um, I feel like this cars don't get as much love as it should. You know, they got pretty quick for what they are. They, I think their body is really, really uh, is aging very well. It almost reminds me of like a TSX um, sedan, aging very well. Uh, a lot of aftermarket support, um, or maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm, I'm mistaken. They actually do have a lot of uh, support. Super clean Integra looks beautiful. Very nice. Man, it's getting harder to see stock cars nowadays and well 90s cars you know he's looking for parking uh, he'll go there but i feel like yeah there's maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong maybe uh there is a lot it's a huge i feel like there, there could be more though but i know joey lee and his wagon is super super cool what's up brother is the spot open? yes no 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 it's open it's open for you Very clean. One of the legendary cars for sure. Very nice. Yeah, good luck finding one of those. Very nice. Iconic blue with gold wheels will never go out of style. Thank you, Subaru. Yeah. Speaking of cars that never got love, I feel like these uh, CRZs, uh, just because they were hybrid, um, you know, I don't know if the enthusiasts or maybe the aftermarket support is not there, but I know a lot of people were doing case and obviously there's white bodies for them and they look pretty cool. It gives me a big vibe of the Type R, the European Type R that they use for the WRC. WRC it gives me that vibe, but yeah, they just never caught much steam, but this one's pretty cool. It has a BBK up front rocking the work wheels. Very nice. All right, everyone. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy that walk around of the parking lot. Uh, and obviously a different video is the roll in. Uh, we're gonna do the roll in of uh, Japanese classic car show first, and then this video will obviously come after. Um, appreciate everybody who was like, hey, just hop on with the car with me so I can get in. I'm all right. Uh, you guys know that I get bored really easily, so it's about 11 or 10.30? 10 10.30 10 to 11, uh, so it, it's time for me to go home. Um, I haven't had any coffee this morning, so I was rushing to get here. And even then, I think I got here like around 6.50? 6.50, there was a lot of cars already staged. And so there's people already on the, on the line to get in, you know, spectators. So maybe next year I'll get here at 6. Uh, maybe i don't i don't know great event great i mean the quality of cars is through the roof pretty amazing to see and so i'm also want to get out of here so that way i don't get ticket wherever i park so catch you guys in the next one 
and as always I appreciate the mad support and uh, thank you everyone who came out and said hi appreciate you guys